The brain allows you to visualize time and events in the timeline view. I can toggle the timeline display on and off by clicking from the view menu or the timeline button near the search box. Timeline lets you associate dates and events with thoughts in your brain. You can create a new event for a thought by clicking the Add Attachment tab and selecting Create Event. Here I can specify the time and add a label, description, or location for this event. I also have the option to make the events repeating and even set up reminders so that the brain will remind me one hour prior to the event. My event has been created. It's associated with my current active thought, marketing, and appears in the timeline view down below. Additionally, I can create new events by dragging on the time ruler at the bottom. This is a standalone event that is not associated with the current active thought but all events can be attached or detached from any thought in my brain. Navigation in the timeline view is simple. Drag up and down to zoom in and out. Drag left and right to scroll through time. Buttons allow me to switch between day, month, week, or year view, or I can navigate to a specific day in the mini calendar. And finally, since I'm synchronizing my brain with the brain cloud, I can also synchronize my brain timeline events with Google Calendar. I'll click on Manage External Accounts to set up my connection to my Gmail account. My brain timeline will now be syncing with my Google Calendar. I've made some recent changes and it's time to sync. Back in Google Calendar, my brain events have all shown up and it's a two-way sync, so events generated in Google Calendar are now showing up in my brain. It's convenient and practical to keep my data and my calendar events all together in my digital brain.